Little update, I'm making huge strides, huge changes in my nutrition. Uh, get them while they're hot. Okay, it's a hot one today. Now as for fueling, I just sip on my bottles like every 10, 15 minutes. I'll have a macro about every 45 and then some gummies. Look at that view. Oh, bro, he's back? We're getting cozy. I got my Venom 2 back and um, that lower back stiffness. I started doing jujitsu again. It's been nice, you know, just trying to mix it up, staying busy, keeping the mind sharp. Just a lot to catch up on. I think, well, that was stupid because number one, uh, get them while they're hot. The street taco teas are available. I'm gonna put some pictures in now. They came out absolutely stellar. So stoked on how they look. I did 80 of them. If you want one, check them out. I'm not gonna do these ones again. They're kind of just like a limited time, you know what I mean? And I already am brainstorming some other ideas for some more merch, not clothing. Maybe right here. I'm trying to film this video three times now and I'm just like not happy with it because it's just, yeah, not, it looks like, I don't know, dude. I'm losing it. I'm losing it because it's been a while since I posted a video, so I'm just losing the chops. Little update. I'm making huge strides, huge changes in my nutrition. Meaning I've decided to quit processed foods, see how I feel, a little bit of inflammation. You know, I got that knee pain, my lower back's a little stiff. Sometimes I wake up headaches and I don't drink. So then I thought, oh, this is weird. I wonder if it's from the, you know, 250 grams of sugar I consume on my bike rides. Is that it? I don't know. Is it processed foods? I don't know. I truly, I don't know. So actually, um, this isn't like satire, I'm just saying, I don't know and I wanna find out. And the processed food, I started asking myself the question, this can't be good for me. So I'm all about mental health, I'm all about physical health, I'm all about longevity. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll uh, feel better. What am I eating now? What does this look like? It's not a carnivore diet. I'd say it's like a modified version of that, but this is everything I eat in a day. So, all right, first things first, we do four eggs, and a half an avocado in the morning. It looks like I have a whole avocado right here, but I do a half an avocado. I do a little bit of Celtic salt, not the Himalayan salt, Celtic. I've heard it's just better than other salts. Also too, it's not as like salty, which I, I kind of like. A little bit of pepper and fruit. Now people that are on the carnivore diet, they don't even touch fruit or vegetables. They just do straight up meat. I'm not doing that. Heavy on the ground beef and steak and chicken and I'm not doing raw cheese. I am doing kefir and raw milk, but I'm also doing fruits. I do like this smoothie, which is amazing. I do pitted medjool dates, organic. Frozen bananas, organic. Strawberries, blueberries, organic. Chia seeds, peanut butter, cachava protein, a little bit of raw milk, and cold water. Is this thing making a noise? And I blend that up. That's meal number two getting the nutrients. Now also too, I do my morning routine. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it. I still am doing that every morning. That's like my vitamins, my cholesterol, my greens, all that good stuff. Apple cider vinegar, lemon with the Celtic salt. Now, this meal, this one's dangerous. This one's dangerous. Get a food processor. I put walnuts in there, I put cilantro, I put parsley, one whole lemon, and then you add in just however much garlic you want, a little bit of olive oil, you blend that up. Now you're gonna blend that up, you're gonna take it over to a bowl, you're gonna toss in, now I do, I do three pounds of ground beef, 85-15 blend, right? I put in whatever seasonings you want, paprika, salt, pepper, chili flakes, and then you're gonna take half that mix and you bah, put it in the, the ground beef mixture, you mix it up, mix it nice and, and uh, gooey, moist, really good. And then I did smash burgers, you can do anything you want. You guys have probably seen, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been doing the meatballs. You can really do anything you want. And then the cool thing is you can make a bowl with it, whatever. But anyways, right now we're doing smash burgers. Smash those puppies down. I'm on my neighbor's patio right now cooking on the grill. I wish I had this thing. And then boom, that's like a modified loco moco. If I had rice and gravy, it'd be a loco moco. Smash burger with more eggs and avocado. Okay, this is a little snack, easy. Dates, peanut butter, and some kefir, 
and and I've been like switching up my days and then you can see I'm going meatballs at night and then this is good kind of Mediterranean style so I do lentils with hummus I do a cucumber tomato mix I put a little olive oil salt pepper lemon on that mix that up and then I serve the meatballs boom and then some more avocado and boom bro look at that and then you'll see I literally garnished it with a little bit of that uh, parsley cilantro walnut mix that I did in the food processor earlier. So that's what we're doing. That's like probably the quickest day of eating that you've ever seen. Now you can mix and match, right? So sometimes I'll just do uh, eggs and avocado in the morning and then the smoothie and then I'll do the meatballs with some rice or I'll just do some ground beef with rice and avocado, keep it pretty simple. But uh, so far it's been, I'm on week three of eating no processed foods I feel really good and when I say no processed I'm talking like of course the no seed oils no added sugar which essentially you walk into a grocery store and you realize it limits you in the best way possible because everything has seed oils in it it's like insane even when you go out everything's cooked in seed oils canola oil safflower oil sunflower oil that's bad it's really bad. I watched this, this video yesterday on, on canola oil and where it came from. And you know, canola oil, actually it comes from what's called rapeseed. You can look this up. Rapeseed was used in war efforts, right? So they extracted this oil from rapeseeds, which is actually like a really hard process. And it was used in lubricating machinery. So then they figured, oh, let's figure out how we can modify it. So they got scientists, they modified that shit over and over and over. And then they came up with canola oil. And I believe canola oil stands for C-A-N, Canada, and then oil, and then L-A is low acidity, I believe. Let me double check that because I, be, I could be wrong. Yeah, canola oil low acid is a type of rapeseed that is low in two compounds that when removed makes it healthier and tastes better. All right, well, th that's that, that's that, that's the video. That's, uh, that's what I eat in a day. That's my new update. No more sugar, trying. No more processed foods, no more seed oils, feeling good. The knee, I'm really doing this too to like see if I can reduce inflammation and get my body healthy because as you guys know, I'm trying to get the knee sorted, I haven't been running, uh, my lower back, <laughs> yeah. I think my lower back is compromised because of my road bike, I never got it set up properly and I got my handlebars slammed on the stem. So that could be a, that could be a problem probably the issue. All right. Well, I'll let you know how I feel so far. So good. And if you're not already uh, link in the description, subscribe, subscribe to the mailing list that I have. I'm sending out recipes and all that good stuff. Okay.